I had a great question from Ebony Star earlier today. She was asking if it would be possible for students to place images in their blog posts. And um, the answer is yes. Of course, we want to talk about um, safety. You don't want to put anything in your blog post that uh, gives too much information about you. So no photographs of you standing in front of your house or, or giving any personal information like that. But she wanted to post a photo of her pet. And that's a great idea. So let me show you how we're going to do that. Uh, first off, uh, when you're in your blog, you're logged in, you come over here to New Post. Click on New Post. and um, I'm just going to put something on here, a sample picture. So I gave it a blog title and then just put a little bit of text here. Here's a sample picture. And if you look at the top of the uh, add a new post window, you can see that you have image, you have upload and insert image, video, audio, or file. Video is of course if you want to put a YouTube video in there or something else. Uh, audio, maybe a song. File could be maybe you have homework or something and you wanted to upload your homework. You, you uh, wrote a story as like a Microsoft Word file or something. So that's just a file of some sort, a computer file. But we're going to be looking at image. If you want to put a picture or a photograph in your blog post, you want to click on Upload Insert Image. So I'll do that. And it's going to give me some choices here. It's going to come up with From Computer that means I'm going to load something from my computer from URL that would be let's say I find a photograph online that I want to use so that's the one I would click there and another conversation we need to have is uh, what's legal for you to put into a blog post really you should only be putting things in there that you've created that you own if you just find a photograph of uh, Justin Bieber online you really shouldn't be putting that in your blog post because you didn't create it and unless you have permission to use that photograph, it's not yours to use. Media library, I think if you've already uh, uploaded some files and photographs, then they would show up in the media library. We haven't done that yet, so there's not going to be anything there. So I'm going to click on From Computer, and then it gives me a chance to select files. Now you can see the maximum upload size is 9 megabytes. So really, that's, that's a pretty big photograph. So most small photographs, like if you have something from your phone or just something you've scanned in or a photograph from your digital camera, they'll be a lot smaller than that. So I'm going to click Select Files. And then this is going to take me to, uh, on my computer, my Pictures folder or directory. And I'm just going to choose this. This is uh, a little drawing I did of myself in Photoshop called 8-Bit David. And uh, there I am. I use this on my Twitter uh, account. And so I'm just going to click on the file I want and click Open. And you can see that already it's uh, starting to load that in, and there it is. Now the last thing I need to do is click Insert into Post. And I can choose if I want it to just show up, or if I went on the left side, the center, or the right-hand side. I just want it to show up. So I'm going to go ahead and click Insert into Post. And there it is. I can see that it's right there. And then if I like what I see, I can add some more text after that, or just leave it how it is. I'm going to click Publish. And now I have my first sample picture in a blog post. It's a pretty simple format, pretty simple uh, process. Uh, try it out. See what you think. Of course, only use things that you own or have permission to use, and nothing that has too much information because internet safety is so important. Have fun uploading images.